This uh, footage, which I recorded at the Academy Training and Performance Center last summer, was very impactful in terms of my thinking about how to organize this video interview business. Because as I worked with the footage, what I realized is that it was revealing very intimately how uh, Melissa works with her clients and how at least one of those clients with very significant physical problems has reacted to her training over a period of time. See what you think. shaking for more than 30 seconds I couldn't do that so I've come so far able to lift like 20 pounds now and my balance is so improved that walking without a cane isn't always necessary anymore so um, I can't believe how far I've come I really can't it's all because of you because really I couldn't have done it without Melissa and Okay. Just keep on going. Because <laughs> your pet is Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So not only has Melissa been uh, my role model and inspiration for um, training, but you've also become a friend. And I think that's very important because she isn't one of those tra trainers that yells at you or tells you, you know, you can do that without being compassionate. And you have, you're encouraging and you know when to um, help me back off because like Melissa said, I try to do a lot and um, I can do too much. And then with the heat and things, it's uh, my body temperature isn't as controlled as other people's because of the MS. So you'll be like, you'll say, you know, relax, take, take a break and boy, we've come so far. And I love all the equipment, like the TRX is my favorite. Yeah. And uh, doing like the rowing machine and the weights have been really, I've been enthusiastic because I've seen such a change in that. Yeah. I love how empowered she's become, you know? And because she's moving in a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. she actually bought her own TRX, yeah. grip trainer and suspension trainer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and she, yeah. Wow. And she's going to collect up that stuff yeah. because Melissa's taught me how. Mm -hmm. and. Um, without your your guidance, like I said, I wouldn't be going to the gym. Mm -hmm. And now I can make a gym at home in addition to trying to find a gym somewhere. Mm -hmm. And you've been so close to me that you're willing to talk to my next trainer and explain to them <coughs> oh, yeah. what I need exactly. and follow me along. Yeah. Every step of the way, you know, there's FaceTime and Skype, you know, technology's here for me, right? You know, we don't, we don't just, we don't part because of distance, you right. know, the bond is greater than that. And she's definitely a dear friend of mine, too. Yeah. And I, you don't, you know, you don't let go of good people and good friends. That's true. You know, this has been a journey, and I want to see her through it however I can. Yeah. So, and, you know, you don't, you don't need people that are that driven that often, to be honest with you. And she's very, very hard on herself. You know, and she will say, "Oh, I, you know, I didn't make it to the gym this week, or I didn't do what I had envisioned." But you know what? She shows up to our sessions. And when she shows up, she doesn't just physically show up. Mentally, she's there, full force, 110 percent every time. Every time I want her to back off or, or take a break, she's known for her baker's dozen. Is that right? Can yeah. you explain what your baker's dozen? Well, because you need to be. Um, enthused about what you're doing like anything in your life I always say if it's 12 or 6 I'm going to add one more because one more and one more gets you further along in the long run so I always say nope one more yeah <laughs> or that didn't count it wasn't yeah. right one more right <laughs> right you know I try not to count what's wrong and uh, yeah unless you tell me that's going to be too much yeah so. right <laughs> so a healthy compromise yeah right? but I mean you Talk about determination and work ethic. I mean, really, she's unmatched. She really is. So. Okay. Thank you.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at me, Mary. Good.